There is limited capacity these days inside baby stores, but even when COVID restrictions lift, there may still be limited customers. Once COVID happened, we kind of just put our plans on the back burner. People like esthetician Dorothy Robinson and her husband put off having another child due to the pandemic. Well, the unknown of getting pregnant, going to the hospital during COVID. Laura Prado welcomed a baby girl seven months ago, but understands why the predicted pandemic baby boom was actually a bust. And I totally understand because who would want to have a baby during these times? These times are so, so strange and so unknown. It's, it's really interesting territory because we've never experienced it before. While a steady stream of newborns continue to arrive, the Brookings Institution is predicting 300,000 fewer births in the United States this year. Numbers are down in almost every state. They're showing declines in the neighborhood of 5 to 10 percent, which is really pretty big in historical terms. Um, the shocking number was California. Over nine months since a stay at home order in California, January birth numbers are down 23 percent compared to 2019. People uh, are, are uns uncertain about things right now. They don't know what's going to happen next, and, and, and that's not conducive to uh, making babies. Professor Dow Myers is an expert on demographics and population change. He says fewer Americans will impact far more than the economy and education. And then it ripples through the system because in 20 years later that that smaller cohort will now arrive in working age and you've got fewer people coming in, into the workforce. And with baby boomers aging out of the workforce, the imbalance will become bigger with fewer paying taxes and supporting the social security system. Every kid born today is twice as valuable as a child born before 1985. Because when they get to be working age, they're going to be joining this ratio and they're going to be vitally important. So the missing 300,000 people are going to put extra burden on all the other working age people. I'm Vanessa Freeman for Pix11 News.